Hi guys. Right, today I've got gloves on because I'm, I've learned the hard way a thousand times not to do our core links without gloves. So here we go. So everything you need will be written above the comments below. Um, all I've got here is a number two Fimo Pro on white. Okay, so I've done it on that. No, sorry, it's a zero at the moment. Um, I've just put it on a black tile because I think white on white is, is a lot harder to see. So this is just perfect for little things. So the first thing I'm going to do is get myself a texture sheet. Um, I've tried a few different ones and this is the one I think I like best. So I'm going to use it on here. Where is my acrylic block? I've got a little one. I don't know if that's big enough. Let's see. It's better than nothing. I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to try doing a pendant and two earring pieces. So as long as um, I've got enough for both, it doesn't matter where the texture has to meet again, because obviously that's not going to be big enough. I'll just give this a vape before I go any further. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to rub it that way. And rub it that way and hope. I used this on um, Blue Leather Effect the other day and I have cleaned it, but I don't expect... Oh, it has all come off. It's done quite well. I should have kept my mouth shut. You can probably see the blue still not coming off. But it's alcohol ink, so I'm kind of stuck with it. Okay, I'll see if I can repeat this now just so it's all done. See if I can get it in about the right place. I got some new alcohol inks today, and I don't even... There's an art shop near me. I've never gone to it. Um, if you're in the UK, you might have heard of Jackson's Art Supplies. Well, I've had a few of their alcohol inks, and I love the inks. They're really nice. Um, so there's one near me, so I decided to go and visit them. My credit card went too happy, but hey. <sighs> I'm just going to try and fill in any bits there randomly. I think that'll be okay. Right. So I've got here... I want to make it blue base, but I want to add a little bit of purple. So I've got my favourite blue, which is Stream. Uh, that's by Ranger. I've got a Resonate Bluebird. And... Um, a Jackson's Art Tropical Turquoise. So I'm going to start with them and sort of see what happens. I've got some alcohol here for spreading. I've also got um, a silver and a rose gold that I haven't got out, but I was going to use. This is just um, the Jackson's Art in copper in an old bottle because the lid went. And I've got a lilac. And plum purple, midnight purple, deep violet. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just not that sure. It all depends on how it looks as to what you want, doesn't it? So I'm going to start off with my favourite. I might put a bit of paper underneath just in case. I don't think I'll spill any, but I, I could well do. Just so it'll absorb any extras. No, I think I'm right in the moment. I think I can grab something if I need to. It's not that close to anything. So I'm just going to start dabbling a little bit here and there. I'm more interested in getting in the grooves than out of. And I'm one for... I tend to put quite a bit on and dab it off as I need it rather than... But I'm still learning. Um, obviously, there's a, a lot to learn how to utilise alcohol inks. And I'm definitely much, definitely very much a beginner. So it's just some random bits for now. And a little bit of blue. That might do for the minute. Let's see where we're going with it. And I should just add a little bit of alcohol. Just to allow it to spread a bit as I'm adding more and more stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the lilac. <laughs> oh. It's 
uh, oh, what have I done here? This is um, a broken one, and I re-put it into this tube, but it's still not right. And I'm, what I'm going to have to do is put some of this down on the side and do it that way. Because the dabber bit's all stuck. Right, I'm just going to have to dab it on. Be prepared, V. Get your purple lilac oil uh, alcohol inks put into a new bottle so it will go smoothly. Hmm. Tis fine, tis fine. Okay, so I'm going to change my glove. I'm going to change both of my gloves. And then we'll carry on. Ah, I wasn't that bad, see? I've got a pair of gloves beside me. Right, there we go. Now, I've got a midnight purple here, which I just got from them. So I'm going to see how that looks. Looks nice through the bottle, but I don't know what it'll be like out of the bottle. Don't expect it will really show on camera at this point. Now, this is where I start doing my... I really need to watch some um, tutorials. I have watched a few, but you don't retain that much, do you? So I'm just going to lighten the load there a minute. And then... I can add alcohol on first now before the inks because I think it spreads better, doesn't it? But it's quite a big piece, I just want to play around and see. Oh, that's wrong lid. Yes, no, no. So basically, whatever colours you want to use, it's just these are the colours I've chosen. Um, just an idea that might inspire you. Okay, now I've done that. Can add a little bit more blue. Everything will start moving easier now as it's filling. Um, deep violet. Don't want a plum purple. Mm. It's not the one I just used, was it? No, I used Midnight Purple. See if Plum Purple. My greens have turned different colours. They've all turned purple. See, this is why I don't make any assurances, because I, I don't always know what I'm going to be doing. Sometimes your ideas change as you're making stuff, doesn't they? Now, what I do want to do is now to add some copper. That's what the problem was. My alcohol lid was on the copper. Right. I will give this a good shake because it's metallic. This is a look. I haven't tried any other coppers to be fair. It's the only one I've tried, but I find it a really lovely rich copper. around a bit. I want to get it all covered before I really work out what goes where. So this does help to spread it out and then you can work your pattern out after, can't you? My way of doing it anyway. Right. So now we can have a fresh look at this. So I'm going to go back to the Midnight Purple and the other purple, whatever it's called, I just bought because I really like them together. really enjoy playing with alcohol inks. Um, 
They make me smile. <laughs> darks first and then I'll go back to lights just dabbing little bits here and there I'm gonna have to I think that's all dried up so I'll have to tip a little bit more purple to move that over only this time I'll try using one finger instead of my whole hand oh no I changed fingers for a reason Try again with the copper. And I'm going to put another little bit of the light blue whether to dab it yet or not because I think that might probably all dry in I'm trying to go over certain colours now so it blends prettily I might maybe I should have removed I'm going to remove a tight this because this is wet it won't absorb so quickly so hopefully there you go I can then add a little bit of copper and see if it Works nicely being in the middle there. I'm babbling away here, aren't I? But best I can do at the moment. Right. I'm liking that. There's one big thing I forgot to do. A big thing, and I think it may be too late. I had another... Um, let me just show you one of the pieces I did when I was practicing. Where are you? There. This is one of the practice pieces I did in slightly different colours. And I put a thing through with a sort of scroll writing, which I thought set it off really nicely. And I meant to do that. What I can do is wait till the alcohol ink has dried and then I can add it then. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm not going to. Maybe I'll do this one different. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to dry for uh, 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Hi, so it's dry now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose copper again. And I'm just going to brush over the top um, to try and pick up the textures. Again, use whatever you like. I think personally a metallic colour is better, but you know, whatever colour you choose. It's your creation. So... Just gonna gently start it's a little bit there, not dry. Don't know if you can see what I'm doing. As long as you're careful and don't apply pressure. <laughs> I says this, I know what's gonna happen now. It shouldn't go everywhere and it should just catch the tops. I can guarantee I'm going to mess it up now I've said that, but I'll try to make sure I don't. So I thought it was all dry, and it must be excess um, alcohol ink because I've left it for like half an hour now. But it'll dry, and I'll go back over that in a minute. But hopefully you can see that I'm managing to pick up patterns, they are, for example, that you can't see. And this is why I want to use this. Plus, it's a diff. I, I like things like this. It's a different shade of um, copper. So hopefully you can see. I'll do a little bit more, and then I'll hold it up, and then I'll finish the rest off screen because I'm sure you don't want to watch it all. Okay, if you can see, if you look at that side, it's not done. And then this side, you can see it's. 
picking up all the patterns, hopefully. Okay. Okay. So, that's it. I'm trying to hold it away from the light so you can see. If I hold it up close, you may be able to see along the edge there how it picks up all the little tiny gold flecks that are raised in the textures. So, it looks really nice. So, the next thing I'm going to do now is um, cut out the shapes. So, I'm going to do a heart cutter. Now, you can leave it there at a the heart cutter or you can go to the next stage and put a backing on too. That's totally your choice because both will look nice. Um, so, I'll do it this way anyway and then afterwards I'll give the option to add a back. So, I'm just going to look for what I think is a nice area. I actually want that some of that blue in it. It looks so nice along the edge. Yeah, yeah I'm actually going to go there with that one. Okay, there's one. And then for the earrings, I'm using these triangles, sort of rounded triangles, so I want to find two nice places. turn it because of the light. That looks pretty there. That's right, one of my lights have gone, so I've got I've got that light over to the middle, but it does affect how I can see things. I like yeah, I like that there. That'll do. <laughs> And then for luck, I'm going to um, do a little long pair. Actually, you know, I've got that much left. I'm probably going to... What can I do here? Right, I'm going to use this here. Yep, I like that. I want to try and get similar or complementary sort of patterns on this one too. That work. got quite a lot of dark blue there in the middle and there isn't that anywhere else so I'll see what I can do here. I want some of that light blueing because I really like that. I wish I'd put more in. Okay, so that's that done. Um, everything, they're going to stay on this tray which is why I did it on there to bake and these are all going to come off so I can do that now I think and then when I come off camera I'll probably make a few more bits. I don't want to overload you, so I'll go into that in my own time. So let's hope they come out easy. So that's going to go on to, where is it? That's going to go on to this mould, but I am going to be putting a back on, so I will be coming back to it. But if you're not putting a back on, just settle on to whatever mould. I'm just doing this so it's slightly domed. Again with the earrings. So I might try and make some beads with this and um, just a little organic roll poke the cocktail stick so I'll see that's a pity to waste it right but these earrings will be exactly the same if you're not putting the backing on um, I'm just using these soap domes and I'll just round it off Okay, so those two there are going to be staying on here to cook the two sort of, what you call that, sort of a spear shape. Yeah. Okay, I just want to say I've changed my mind. Um, 
everything I made just now, um, I'm going to put in the oven now before I do the backs, and then I'm going to put the backs onto the cook fronts. Um, I just want to say I've just made two bigger daggers there. Um, I've made a pendant there with the spare, and I'm going to add this on top up here. Um, this is Happy Hands. I've had this a long time. It's a go-to pendant quite often. Okay, so I shall be back, and I'll link all the cutters. I can't remember the name of the person who did these offhand, but I'll link the name of the cutters below. Okay. I'm still waiting for the other stuff to come out of the oven, but I thought I'd start get ready on the back now if you want to do a back. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've mixed leather effect in nut and metallic surnit 50-50. I was just curious to see how it come up because I know I really enjoy a mix of female leather with a normal clay. It's, it's supposed to be a bit like souffle. I find it a little bit more velvety. So I thought I'd see what happened with this because I, I love surnit, um, but the surnit copper it's just so red i don't like to use it and it gets darker when you cook it so for me it's not a personal preference so i thought it's a good way to start using it up so i mix these together 50 50 and i've rolled it out on a number three okay so that's the color it is so it's got the metallic but it's also got a kind of a terracotta -y. it's more copper to me now um i don't know I, I, well, I do know how it bakes because I've done some. Uh, let's find something. It's an in earring. Look, you can see it doesn't go much darker. So while they're baking, I'm just going to cut the backs out. But before I do that, I the other day I just thought you get these organza bags, don't you? So I thought, oh, I wonder what texture it'll leave. And I quite liked it. So I'm just going to use that for here because I want all the attention to be on the front and this to be just a subtle background. So I'm just gently rolling this over that Let's see if I can show it to you whether it will show or not I don't know let's see can you see yeah see all the little squares so it gives that kind of a texture which is just perfect I think um, but also the light will catch with the mica shift so it's, it's nice so I'm just going to cut out a larger heart than this next size up from the one that's gone in just so it's able to uh, give it a bit of a frame And then I'm cutting out, I'm going to try and fit all these in, so I need to work this out. Otherwise I'm going to be a pair of earrings down. Might have to re-roll, we'll see. It's just I want two of these. Right, so it should be alright if I do it there. It's nearly, very, very nearly going over. It's only just going to fit. So, I'll be really careful there. <laughs> right, just did that. Okay, so as soon as we're out of the oven, we can attach them. So they're out of the oven, and I'm just going to grab this bottom base here for the heart. Now you've got two options. You can either put them back on whatever you use to bend the heart if you're, you know, a bit concerned. Also, at this point, you can add liquid clay if you feel you'd like to. I don't need to. I'm confident it's going to hold well because I'm going to be putting a lot of pressure into the back and the ones I've done. You know, I couldn't pull them apart if I tried, so on this occasion, I'm confident there's a lot of divots and holes in the back that it'll grip into. It's not got a smooth back or anything. So I'm just pressing this into the back, hoping to get a bit of a tidy texture without doing any damage to the sides. Okay. Yeah, and then the texture's... You know, it looks quite organic and nice, but it's still okay at the front. And you can either leave it slightly rounded or you could flatten it back down again. I like to have a slight round, but maybe not that much. So for now, that's that one done and ready to go back into the oven. 
So I'll move that one out of the way. And I'm just going to repeat the same process really with them more. So I'll just do it with one more on on here. And where are the things I use? Now if I want to make life easy for myself with these triangles, I'm going to try and get this central on here. And then put the, apply the triangle and hope this works. I'm going to get that flat first. I'm using that bit there because we've got less wrinkles there so you're not going to leave fingerprints per se obviously it's best not to use anything but I'll get that out after okay so fingers crossed I can I might add some liquid clay with this one because it's not particularly going to be gripping into anything just want to check it's all tidy this one's just relying on them um, nothing much but it really just been laid on top so I do want to add liquid clay to this one I'll also be adding liquid clay to the straight ones because again they're like this they're not going to have um, much that they've gripped onto if you know what I mean I haven't been able to apply that sort of pressure here. So I'm just trying to make sure they're straight and I'm happy with them. And then I'm just going to do that with all of them and put them back in the oven for the manufacturer's recommended temperature. Okay. Hi, it's the next morning here because it got too late last night. So I've done the same thing with everything. So I just thought I'd just show you one of the earrings. So this is how I'm choosing to finish them off. Okay, so that's how um, I put a back on on number six, as I always do, and then all I'm doing is I've got a very fine brush, and I'm going around the edges with the alcohol ink because I think it sets it off. I mean, I will put a varnish over wherever I put alcohol ink to protect it, um, but I don't want to varnish the whole thing. So that's that. And then at the front here, all I'm doing is just very gently just bringing it in. Just to give it a little high, not all the way, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of highlight. That's what I tend to, I don't know what you can pick up there. I do it once thin right to the edge. Then when I know I've used up more paint, I'll sort of brush over it to give it more of a wisp. Just highlights that edge nicely. Okay, so that's all I'm doing, and then I shall also, when they're dry, I shall also just finger rub the back. Okay. Okay, so they're all done. So I'll try and show you bit by bit what I did. Um, anything that I did off screen. So they're done there. I've just attached them to findings. Um, but number six on the back went around the edge with the copper alcohol ink and then went over it in varnish very selectively. Um, I also varnished the front. I didn't want to use resin. I think when things are raised, it's very rare resin looks nice. Sometimes it does, but I, I, I find with raised stuff, it's hard to... I find that I've had massive fails doing it. So that one there, exactly the same. But number six on the back, I added two little Swarovski's crystals just before they went into bake, just to give it something. Um, again, around the edge, alcohol ink, and then gently varnish just over the alcohol ink. And you can't really see the varnish at all. It just gives a little more light to the alcohol ink. These ones, um, all I did with these, when I put, the, put them on the back, I just added another little cutout heart and a Swarovski crystal just to give it a little something again. Um, these are actually um, clip-on earrings rather than pierced. So I'm trying to incorporate them a bit more because not everybody's ears are pierced. But I really like them. And then this one, which I sort of did some on screen. Um, this one the same, uh, the back alcohol ink. And I finger brushed it, then went around the sides 
um, on the front here I just did a little crystal put a little twist of clay around it and then painted that with the copper alcohol ink as well and then I've just hung that on the extendable cord so that's all the pieces hope I didn't miss anything out because I've gone to the next day it's easy to <gasps> you know forgot that it's crucial Never mind there. You can ask me any questions underneath if I have left anything out. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I forgot. I was just going to go and I just realised I've also made some in other colours. Just wanted to show you because, you know, I don't want to be a one trick pony. So these are all done in, that's blues. That's, these are more graffiti looking, I suppose. Um... These are done exactly the same, just different colours. I'm just showing you how it can look. This is just all different blues. And these ones exactly the same. I just cut a little heart out and on the back in then the heart, it shows through. But they're all done exactly the same way, just a different texture, different colour inks. And these ones here that I haven't even finished yet. So, okay. Bye again. <laughs>